lovely folks of YouTube, Ren here. It's been a little while, I know. I'm kind of taking a break, doing my little temp semi-hiatus, only putting up videos about every other week, roughly, give or take. Um, but it is December, so I thought, um, let's do our little garden tour for the month of December. As always, in the wintertime, there's not going to be a whole lot going on, but, you know, sometimes... Sometimes when things have died back, you get to see some things that you don't normally see. So let's see what we see. All right. So, um, as always, you can see my little catkins on my hazel here are looking really good. This is a nice little winter interest that it's got. Wintertime is the only time that you can really see all the, you know, contorting branches of this hazel. And of course, the catkins are a nice little touch, too. Um, I do want to show you, I opened up my cold frame and watered my plants in here. So you can see in my cold frame, I do have my lemon verbena and my four mandrakes, which are still doing okay. They're even putting up new growth, even though it is winter time because um, I have them in the cold frame. So they're sheltered from the worst of it. So I'm actually going to close this up now so I don't forget to close it later. Ooh, there we go. You can see my uh, my blueberry still has some leaves on it. This gets a nice autumn color to it. But uh, the raspberries are pretty much done. My garden beds, honestly, I just need to get in there and clean all that crap out of there. Put them away before it gets really super cold. But, you know, holidays are a hard time. <laughs> it's a hard, hard to get stuff done out here, especially when it's really cold outside. You can see my moonflower is way, 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 way dead. So... Um, but a couple things that were interesting that I noticed when I was out here. So there are some weeds that are popping up because I never did get enough leaves on there to really cover up the, the ground. But here in the cool weather is a few things you can see. This is, I mean, kind of a weed, but also a happy accident. That is bloody sorrel. So that actually came from... Um, I have bloody sorrel planted over by my pond, and so the seeds must have gotten here from the uh, the compost. So that's just kind of popped up there. Um, eventually I'll move it somewhere else, obviously, but I'm happy to see it now. There we go. There's a couple in here. Look, this is lettuce. That's lettuce that's popping up amongst the weeds. There's another one over here. So there was some lettuce that went to seed, and now it's growing here, even though it's December. Because, you know, Virginia, you can do that. You can see my parsley is actually doing pretty well. I actually come out here periodically and will just pick parsley from to add to certain dishes for my dinner. Um, and these uh, these here, <laughs> my little surprise plants did end up being broom corn in the end. So I've left these out here in case the birds want it because I don't need any more broom corn right now. This is another little surprise that popped up over here. This little guy right over here. There's a lot down here, and then, of course, he's got this long stem right here. Uh, did not plant him here, um, but here he is. This is whorehound. I have a whorehound plant, like, uh, directly opposite, like on the other side of the, uh, the garden. I don't know how this guy got here, but, uh, but here he is. Uh, actually looking a little bit healthier than my other whorehound plant, probably because this bed is way, way, way uh, better quality soil, because this is where I try to grow my... Uh, asparagus but uh yeah so sometimes when things have died back you can find some unexpected surprises like that i do want to show you this as well this little guy i planted earlier this year seems to be doing really well that's my um my nettle my stinging nettle i tried to plant it somewhere that's kind of more out of the way so that i wouldn't be getting stung all the time i don't know if you're close enough that you can see things covered in needles so I haven't gotten stung by it yet, fingers crossed. Mainly because I know it's there and I know to avoid it, so. You can see my mulein plants are still over here. They're still hanging in here despite the frost that we've had, so. I keep meaning to harvest some leaves off of this before the, the cold really hits hard, but I don't know. It's hard to find time for things sometimes, especially lately. <clears throat> a cool thing I want to show you over here. You can get a better look now with things that have died back. You can see my uh, hydrangea in the back. That's the Oakleaf Hydrangea Alice that I put in this spring. 
and it's got some really really nice um autumn color on it now so hanging on to those leaves oh hello i don't know if you can see him it's a mockingbird i'm surprised you're not squawking at me mockingbird usually you do that probably waiting for me to leave so he can go after what's left on my apple tree so. do you have a few let me see there was this one little thing in here this little rose right here made a single rose hit for me <laughs> so we have that I need to put this chair away and get it out out where, where it's not going to be exposed and back where it's protected in the shed soon so lots of empty space lots of weeds I do have a couple of foxgloves that are hanging in there but most of the things are either already died back or in the process of dying back you can see my elders lost most of its foliage already there are some branches that are growing through my deck that I need to prune back so it doesn't do that my lungwort is being a little stinker look at this thing why do you always bloom in January it's too early so this is the time of year you can actually see my garden stone that's in there it's just a rock that I found that uh, I was like, hey, let's put this in the garden. So, and then, of course, sorry, the heat pump is on, so it's a little noisy here. Pond is mostly retired for the year. I think the fish are still in there, but I haven't seen them for a while. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if they'll make it through the winter or not. I hope they do, but, I mean... They were 10 cent feeder goldfish from the pet store. So regardless, they had a better life here than they would have otherwise. And then, of course, I do still have it running for now. But as soon as my husband gets into the crawl space to change our filter in the heat pump downstairs, I'm going to have him unplug it. So it'll be just, just um, yeah, no longer running. And that way I won't have to worry about the tubing freezing over and the pump burning out while we're gone for the holiday because we are leaving we're going back to chicago for for the holidays for christmas anyway we do celebrate both christmas and yule i'll be home for yule and then leaving for christmas so anyway yep lots of things just kind of dormant recuperating that's what we need to be doing right now too I mean, a lot of us can't do that during the holidays, at least. But once the holidays are done, spend some time. Take your cue from the garden and just spend some time just resting and recuperating, and gathering your strength. That's what this time of year is about. So, anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do for today. It's awkward the way that the light is hitting. So, there we go. Now I can see. Anyway, alright, hope this video finds you well, and I will see you again soon.